Hi, my name is Becca Ironside. I'm a pelvic floor physical therapist. The reason I'm making this video today is to address the erectile needs of people with bladder, bowel, or prostate cancer. Now, when people are diagnosed with something like a cancer in the abdomen or the pelvis, what they may not realize if they're a guy is that this can impact the quality of erection. And the reason why we, this is so important for men is that this is often not addressed by the medical community. So let's just talk about nocturnal erections, right? So these are erections that a guy will have in the middle of the night and they keep his penis nice and long and they promote blood flow into this region of the body. Now, if someone needs to undergo treatment for bladder, bowel or prostate cancer, this is often going to involve radiation, surgery or chemotherapy. And what those treatments are going to likely do is alter the blood flow that's occurring in this region of the body. So this is important because what we want is we want gentlemen who are diagnosed with such cancers to know that they can maintain wonderful erections during the course of their treatment to maintain penile length and girth following the treatment. So leading up to your surgery, if you've been diagnosed with bladder, bowel, prostate cancer, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're having the nocturnal or morning erections. If you're not, that's okay because you're likely very stressed. If you're not having the erections, or even if you are in the nighttime, you want to make sure that you climax three times a week leading up to your surgery. This will accomplish uh, the response of the penis to climax and orgasm. We want to maintain this for as long as possible before we bombard that cancer. Now, after the treatment, or during the treatment, meaning chemotherapy, radiation, surgery, to the abdominal wall and the pelvis, what can happen is decreased blood flow to the penis. So what do we want to do to ensure that that doesn't happen, that the blood flow doesn't cease? Well, what we want to do is, number one, we want to masturbate or have sex. Make sure that at some point you're maintaining the reflex of an erection and that you are keeping your penis nice and long by using it and moving it. So that can be sex with another person, masturbation, right? The other thing that we can do is if we notice that we no longer have those nocturnal erections, we want to make sure that the penis stays long. And without those nocturnal erections, it can shorten at any age. How do we prevent it? Well, here's a wonderful technique. This is a penile pump. It's a pneumatic device. So you simply place it over the penis and the penis will swell in girth and it will elongate. Done daily, this will maintain penile length and girth and allow for better erections going forward once all of the treatment for your cancer has been completed. Another fantastic technique would be if you feel your erections are inadequate, you would simply use a penis ring. So they come in many different shapes and sizes. Some of them look like zip ties. Super cool feature that you can use so that once blood goes into the penis, you simply slide this on, blood will stay in the penis. So it can be very challenging to be diagnosed with bladder, bowel, or prostate cancer. What you need to know is you don't want your erections to take a nosedive because of your cancer. This is preventable. Cancer sucks, but your erections don't have to. My name is Becca Ironside. This is your magical pelvis, and I really hope this helps you.